bits and pieces of how the music industry works and how to play guitar and from the basic of how to play a chord to the, you know, to how to book your band, you know. So those girls are 10 to 14 and they came here with the, a wealth of enthusiasm for what they're doing here. So I was shocked at how they ran with it. What we really focus on is kind of empowering kids and girls specifically. Um, to, to really see that they, they can do anything that they put their minds to, kind of a DIY approach to music. I just want to give them the confidence to realize that they can do it, and they just not just confidence in music, but in the world in general and society. Everybody's different, and it gave them this free, like this completely free area to be who they are, to like bring out more of that personality. Because the counselors here are short, to tall, to, you know, all sorts of styles. So they've got to encounter a whole different, you know, world. I feel like, and get to see that you know it's just not all cookie cutters or the same, you know, clothing style or this and that. And, since the girls have been here, you've seen them come out of their shells and you've seen them work with each other and work with different ages and just really bring that part of themselves out and be a little more freer to be who they are. I didn't even know anybody in my band or, like I said before, not how to play the keyboard. And, um, and now like we made up like two songs and we're just like really loving both of them and we're having a great time. So. And we're all like really good friends. They've all written at least one song, um, and a lot of the bands are working on a second song. It inspires me to see, like, I want to steal all of their band names. <laughs> I want to steal all of their ideas because they're all. So brilliant, like the Dark Unicorns and Death Fondue, um, and I don't know, it, it, it kind of like recalibrates my attitude towards music and towards what I can and can't do, like um, you don't have to do it perfect or even like have a full band together to, to go to Ritual and play it open mic, so it, it's kind of empowering for the volunteers as well, I think. Um, I can't wait to get back to writing. I mean, I've spent a lot of time on this, and I literally have not put pen to paper um, since before last summer. So, um, so I'm really excited. I have a lot of things going on in my head right now that are just like full of excitement and hope, and it's all because of these amazing girls that I just spent the last two weeks with. But here, everybody's just working together. You have just ideas flying all over the place, and it's helped me just in... I can't wait to go back and start digging into our music again and our look and our logos and everything, you know. So it just really helped inspire me to keep, you know, pursuing music, to keep doing it. Watching being a mentor to these gals has been very rewarding. All of the volunteers are given an honorarium to help support them while they uh, give their time to Girls Rock Camp. And all those volunteers, those instructors and staff people, are local artists and musicians. And so those are the people that we want to enable to have careers in music right here in Des Moines. And so we thought, well, what better way to do that than give them uh, a way to make a little money and contribute to something interesting and learn from while uh, continuing to pursue their own art. have to be amazing at it because everybody expresses like it's a form of art that can be expressed in any way and as long as you do it in the way that um, lets your emotions out the most and shows who you are then it doesn't matter so and I just want them to know that they don't have to be like the best singer like in technical terms or the best guitar player like as long as they're expressing what they feel I want them to like take that experience away and be able to like 
use music as like an outlet for the rest of their life. I hope that they'll take away confidence. I hope that they'll take away compassion for uh, their female peers. Um, and I hope that they'll take away that they're uh, like in all situations at all times, no matter what. They are fierce and they rock and they can do anything. I mean, after these two weeks, all that they did, I hope that they take away that they know they can do anything.